how they play around it. So, I mean, anything's open for them. A lot of teams like the first band Enigma, because Puppy has a really strong one. Um, there it is. Yeah, that was first band against them last game. Yeah. Uh, the Wisp Enigma. It's a redundancy in the mech carrier, um, but it's not that big a deal. Sometimes he just rushes pipe anyways when Razor gets the mech. And Puppy's actually one of the... Or Razor that... just goes like eggs or BKB. Yeah. Not well, sure how good that will be this game. There's Duel, there's RP, there's Klinx's Searing Arrows, but eggs is always still good. All right, well, supports for Tinker. Some flexibility here. You can go for the early Sand King Blink Dagger. You can get very aggressive in the laning stage. What are you expecting out of them? Should they be trying to pressure this Enigma? Tinker? I think they should yeah. concentrate on killing Fly over and over again. I think they can definitely do it with a Skywrath. Um, mid is just really hard to gank because it's going to be S4 on the Razor with a Magnus Ten probably, or remaining. I don't know. Any matchup's not going to be great for uh, Razor's opponent. So Five I would, seconds. if I were Tinker, Think be like, okay, let's just kill Timbersaw, make him relevant, and then that'll make it so uh, a lot easier to just kill him first and kind of ignore the Dusa in the fights when they proceed in a later game. They can try and interrupt Enigma's farm, but it's just not very easy to do so, and they're just easier targets on the map. Um, they do have self-sufficient solos in the Clinks and the Mag and the Legion, so their two supports are free to roam, and I'm just looking to get a lot done with those two supports. And if I'm Big Daddy, I'm trying to put solo pressure if I can uh, on Razor's lane because they can actually yield in kills or try and counter the aggression of those two supports by just scouting them out and mirroring where, wherever they go. All right, with that said, we're underway. Let's go ahead and run through our lineups here on the Dire side. We're going to start with our Legion Commander. That will be handled, uh, that will be handled by Koikfa. Our Magnus will be on Sing Sing's hand. Oh, already so is, smoke. I believe it's his first ever recorded Magnus game. It's PyCat on the Clink, something he's played quite a bit of lately, uh, more so than most players. EGM, the Sand King, Bulbo, your Skyrath Mage, and they get aggressive with the smoke at level 1, while for the Dire side, Team Secret, busy warding up their jungle, no tail, dropping that one near the river. Simba on that timber saw he's played so often as of late. Puppy will be your Enigma. As for the Razor, and trying to scout out a rotation will be Kuroki. Very difficult the position to approach a hero from. They get in range with a concussive shot. Kuroki caught out. This looks to be the first blood. Burrow Strike ready. He's surrounded and beaten down. And that will go to Koikfa. That's a very smart way to approach. Generally, your hero will stand right around here because they expect a gank coming from here, here, or here. And he, they were just in a perfect position to try and wrap around. So. And they also, they really need a concussive shot. I don't think you get that kill without that. So yeah, that was the power of the Skyrath smart. Mage. Smart play. Yeah, really well executed gank. And... Well, do they go aggressive tri lane here with that first blood? It's a pretty decent tri lane. It's not amazing, double melee. They just they put a burst. They put LC there and have the two supports just do whatever they want. Yeah, he gets a double damager and EGM's gonna stun him, but he doesn't really stun away. And that's a that's a clarity and probably a couple tangos down the drain. So a nice turn. The other thing is not only do they get the first blood, they very quickly and efficiently ward the jungle on their way out. Double sentries dropped, big observer ward placed, and the sentry from Big Daddy. It's not going to actually be in range of this one. So a nice placement there from T Tinker. Still, Puppy will have this camp available. And this one probably will be dewarded. He's actually dropped the sentries on the ground. I guess he's saying, Puppy, it's up to you to deal with that. This is not going to be a fun lane top for Timber. 2v1, but uh, two very strong heroes versus him. Yeah, I mean, Skyrath is just so good at killing a Timber Saw. At the same time, Koifa in this offlane with the first blood, he's got boots, stout shield, and a lot of regen. He won't be easy to zone out, so it looks like the offlane should be a win overall for Tinker. The Enigma can be the X Factor generally, but EGM already begun stacking the jungle. His jungle was not warded off, unlike the sand kid we saw last game. So I'm thinking they break even in the jungle. They may lose mid pretty bad to S4's Razor, but they can make up for that in the offlane. This should go reasonably well for, for Tinker. Yeah, and giving the first blood to Koikva really helps him because he can start off with Boots and a Stout and effectively trade her ass with Ogre. Well, maybe not super effectively, but definitely more effective than before. Nobody trades effectively with a hero with six armor, but more effectively. He's trying. He's that's trying. for sure. Yeah. He doesn't want to get bullied by the big bag club wielding dual headed beast. Hideous beast. <laughs> Running around in circles. Big Daddy. Goes in for a little poke there with the club. 
Kills attempted yet top. The concussive shot skilled, but you still need at least your level 3 for the silence. That, that's the one issue here, is they don't have too many ways to lock down the timber at this stage. Later on they will once they get EGM more active, but for now he continues to stack up the jungle. Oh, missed his double stack there. Oh, he was trying to prevent Bova from stacking. EGM? Or Fly. Oh, wait. Oh, Fly was trying to prevent Bulba. Okay. Uh, I thought you were. Yeah, EGM missed his double stack. Or, sorry, his triple stack. You know, bottom lane, Big Daddy is, is really putting the hurt on Quick, but imagine if he didn't get the first blood. He would be struggling. Uh, to be fair, he kind of still is, but at least occupying the Ogre a lot. Yeah, getting boost first on Ogre is incredibly strong. And yeah, it sacrifices puppy farm, but puppies is puppies enigma. Who cares? I only got this one camp to work with. This camp still sentried off. He Koikva getting body blocked. Oh. Got a kill. Overwhelming odds. Still level one though. Really could use that bottle or or heal. He's not getting much farm for it. Um. Oh yeah, but puppy did go for the D ward. Unfortunately, he guessed just wrong. This is a really cool place to block the camp. Both of these sentries just out of range of it. Well, let's see, what's our Legion going to do? Koikfa back to the base? Oh, maybe he's not going to have a very good time in the off. I figured he'd do better. I mean, Big yeah. Big Daddy was just... He's done a great job. ...all up in the grill. And he's level 2 now, so... Big win for Team uh, Secret in the safe lane. Yeah, at the same time, the Clink's farming well, but so too is the Medusa. So. Yeah, Experience-wise, we should see the Dire pulling ahead and... Very well. the Radiant pulling ahead, and they are by 1,000. This ward by Simba, very well placed, and he's able to feel relatively safe unless they smoke up uh, to kill him. But Bulba's not level 3 yet, no Ancient Seal on him, so pretty difficult to kill him without that. Yeah, the comeback mechanic here for Tinker will just be getting their, their stacks for the Sand King. Which, EGM has hit level 2. If they can just clear a camp or two, that'll get him to level 3. And Got a decent stack here waiting, uh, a double for now. We'll be, at least be chipping away at these small centaurs in the top lane. But yeah, of course, the mid lane, one we haven't talked too much about. Razor, not really winning this. Sing Sing's doing a nice job. Level 3 Shockwave, no matter how much damage you drain, he'll always have that to CS. He's taking advantage of it to keep up with S4. Actually, pretty even start as far as it all goes, but for now, the Enigma pulling ahead, but imagine the Sand King will catch up soon enough. And the safe lane farmer is almost uh, exactly the same in terms of CS 25 and 27 by Medusa and Clinks respectively. And yeah, I mean, Sing Sing is getting pretty good farm versus a Razor, but at the same time, he needs items like more badly than a Razor. Like, Razor can get away with like a phase and a uh, bracer and still do surprisingly well. Magnus kind of needs blink plus treads or arcane uh, to start being very effective in fights. Little four heroes now in this dire jungle. It seems Quakefoot just said, you know, I'm getting nothing out of this bottom lane. I might as well go to the woods. I'll at least be doing some stacking for the Sand King. I can farm a few camps of my own. There's no, he's not going to bother stacking that one. Can't bypass a big bad ogre, man. Big Daddy is just... <laughs> the great wall of Big Daddy. <laughs> you shall not pass this <laughs> river. <laughs> Seriously. And he's, uh, he's actually gotten some levels now. He hits level three. He's gone for the 1-1-1 one, one, one again. Yeah, they blocked two camps, but they didn't block the pool camp. They blocked um, they this, blocked this camp, this and, camp yeah. and this camp. And they placed a ward, but I mean, that leaves Big Daddy to do whatever he wants. And Puppy actually has not hurt, been hurt that badly, considering that he bought the Obsors at the start, the chicken, and No-Tail went for boots first, and they blocked two of his spawns. He's still doing very, very well, level five and a half. Yeah, after what looked like a great start for Team Tinker. They got the first blood, they got the Enigma jungle. It would seem blocked off. It's not enough. They're down 2,000 experience, 1,000 gold. Imagine if they hadn't gotten that first blood. My goodness. This it's mostly because Koikba. Koikba's still level 1. And He's one about CS. to 2, but it's not without a fight. Big Daddy ushers him away into the tree line. Orb of Venom picked up for Max Harass. That value, oof. Very Dyer's nice pickup. Think Sane's even, he's even thinking about coming in. There's no ward here. He just feels like he has to do something to protect this tower, to deal with the early rotations. Oroki just stands and tanks the tower. He is losing a bit of mana for this, but I'll turn off the mana shield for now, preserve it. Turn it back on when he... Man, look at that reduction. That's ridiculous. Seven armor, the mana shield, the boot. Well, three already. He's not really taking much damage. 
Yeah, he is not. And Koikba, hey, he finally picked this on levels. Level 3, and the push was coming with that Siege Creep, but now that the Siege Creep is gone and Glyph has been used, Puppy making his way back to the jungle. Level 6, Obs Wars on him. No smoke yet. Can he get a kill with this black hole? It's not an easy one wherever he goes. Boba is looking to make this triple stack a quadruple stack, and the timing's off again. Seems like, seems like that cap is harder to stack recently. I was having the, the same issue in pubs where their day. I'm not sure if it was actually changed or what, but... Yeah, EGM still will be content with the triple. This is going to get him, I don't know, like 1100 goldish or so. Still a ways off from his blink. Your Magnus Mint for Sing Sing also a ways off his blink. So there's not going to be any big initiation for Tinker for some time. And Legion, I mean, Quakefa does have a thousand gold, but it's Boots Stout Shield thousand gold. Like, absolute rush if he goes for it as an offlaner. So it does seem like a lot of pressure this game will be on PyCat to make plays. He's the only one having an easy time of it for Tinker. He's doing very well. Can he carry the game? Or at least get his team to the point where they can chip in? Mm, I don't know. It's, it, it's always going to be tough. Do smoke and rotate bottom lane. EGM is here. He's going to reveal Big Daddy, but the ward gives them a bit of vision. Enough time for him to get off an initial stun. Puppy's waiting for his, his ultimate black hole opportunity. Does he, does he find the opening? He brings in two. Playfoot just waits on the side, helpless to do much. He tries to heal Boba. That's not going to happen, but Sing Sing delivers with an RP. Skewer already used. He won't be able to bring heroes back into the tower as Kuro begins to chase, searching for that final auto attack. And since he won't be able to get it, the Legion Commander finds the first kill. On Puppy, like one kill going their way in the end. They did lose their Skyrath to start that. So a one for one exchange. Not a bad trade, but the tower is probably going down here to Secret. EGM apparently did not expect him there. Big Daddy got the cast animation from the Fire Blast. He could have sandstormed, he could have just stunned him. Straight up, he was definitely facing in the right direction. They were, they were smoked, but the Di Radiant had this Observer Ward, and I don't think he was counting on it. Yeah. Yeah, that high ground ward. The new 6.82 ward actually coming into play. First tower will fall. Kuroki will get the last hit. Has Not he had a bad game on a carry? Um, I saw yeah, his team. Razor get wrecked okay. in, against Vichy, but Vichy just crushed everyone. Yeah, they, they were on another level. But outside of that, like I feel like every time I watch Kuroki, he gets free farm. He doesn't really make many mistakes. And well, it's mostly... I mean, this game he got first blooded, but that's like an almost unavoidable first blood. A lot of it's due to Big Daddy, and yeah. they're just able to get away with so much because he puts on so much pressure, either with his Wisp in the mid lane and buffing up Kuro's PA, or in the safe lane, just completely zoning out the Legion Commander, so she's level 1 in like 4 or 5 minutes, and yeah, he gets always gets the space that he needs from his support. Well, they might look to create more space now. They've got a smoke ready to go, S4. He pushed in the middle lane with the max plasma field, and now makes the rotation top. Leading the way is Puppy, and they'll be joined by Fly, who is struggling pretty mightily to get farm. He's gotten his levels up to, to a decent degree. It's level 5 there. Oh, the other big thing is Legion Commander actually got a kill in that fight, which Koikva desperately needed experience-wise. Now look for an opening. EGM closing on a Blink Dagger. Puppy still smoked. This is wearing off fairly soon. And they're going to jump in with the dust to start. Pycat's the focal point here. They chain through. They get the kill. Nice takedown. Tinker defend. No epi blink. No ultimate on the Legion. I don't think they can fight this Ben. Maybe with Sing Sing. He is hasted. They know that there's no black hole. This has to be on Sing Sing as they dive on the EGM under the tower. Focusing on Puppy with the silence. A nice two hero shockwave from Sing Sing. Then the RP to follow it up. On to S4 they go. It's going to be a two for one as EGM retreats. The rest of Tinker, or uh, Secret, backing off. They were fighting that without Kuro, who's just farming bottom lane, but... Not respecting the Magnus. Yeah, and the power of the Magnus, we see, is... Having the lower cooldown ult makes a difference. The Enigma ult's still 30 seconds off of being ready. Yeah, Shockwave's really good at defending their pushes, especially pre-mech. Actually, no one's looks like they're building a mech on uh, Team Secret. We thought that there might be some redundancy there, but instead... <laughs> zero. It'll be your ogre. I got it. <laughs> he's still poor. He has Arcanes though, which is actually pretty good for him. So Kiro looks like he's going for an early Yasha build. No Lincoln's rush for him. Yasha does help you farm a lot faster if you're not under any contest from the opponents. Like from being harassed off top lane, he has managed to get that point in his ultimate, but all his damage is drained. 
And this could be an issue for Tinker. Something we didn't really touch on is, well, how does Legion match up this game? It's tough for him to really get active in fights. He goes for a duel, they can stone gaze him. He can be static linked if he's not going on Razor. And if he's already getting his damage drained, that duel's hard to win. Yeah, but the burst is going to be so yeah. fast and furious from Team Tinker that he won't be able to drain him for that long. Like, S4 is not tanky enough to run in the middle of them. If they get the good RP, yeah. So, mm. I guess it, it comes I mean, down to Sing Sing. Or Epi with the Blink Dagger on Sand King. There's a lot of spells that they do not want to clump up against or stay still. They do have a lot of lockdown, that's true. See if they can make it pay off. Blink Dagger is now, as mentioned, on that from Sand King. Lift used up the tier 1 top, but there's the Radiant Observer Ward here to give a bit of vision. Hi, Cat. Marches forward to hold on to his tower. They try to wrap around for a stun. They're going to go on him. But at the center, which is being channeled by EGM, and he manages just barely to clip S4 with the Burrow Strike. Almost fell short on that one. That, that was, was just the absolute edge of it. Yeah, and shutting down the Razor, really important. He did buy his drums of endurance before, but I like his target selection of S4 over Big Daddy. And Koikfa, there's your blink. After the way this game... Well, first he got the first one. It's like, okay, he's going to have a good time. It's like, all right, he's screwed. And... Thanks to the, the kill experience bottom and a couple good fights and just the fact that he rushed it. He's now got the blink, so triple initiation online for Team Tinker. It's yeah. going to make things a lot more difficult for Secret to group up and fight. And at this point, Team Tinker might just be looking to ignore Kuro and kill everybody else. Just because they're very vulnerable right now. Razor still no mag. Timbersaw got zoned out pretty hard on top. Doesn't even have his arcane boots yet. And with the Orchid online, he's even more susceptible to dying. Ogre, he's very tanky, but still not that many items to boot. And Enigma sitting at only 400 gold after the two deaths and the early century warding of his jungle. This game, we will see the, the Fire Blast max again. So going for the burst damage there on the Ogre. Pycat does have Orchid online, as mentioned. He's on the move. Arrow could be the target, and maybe that soul burn is the bonus damage you need to, to chew through the Medusa's mana shield. Or just kill everyone else, get that dual damage, go for Puppy. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly a possibility. I don't know if they can kill Dusa. She has a lot of HP, 900 plus... Plus the 60% reduction. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. I'll try for the jump in mid, Koikfa. Give himself a bit of a bonus and a quick winner secured for him. Oh, be an additional 10 damage in his his stash, and they retreat out, so the first Orkin use is successful. You have a Sentry Ward, Pycat. Tread carefully, young man. You're gonna back off. Just took an initial stun. Another Sentry Ward and an Obs. Both drop. Big Daddy just pooping out the wards. He's out for now, though. He still has one more Sentry. Oh, one more Sentry. Still, they're getting ganks with the Blink, exactly what Team Tinker needs, and... They know if they go on Dusa, there's going to be immediate TP reaction, and it looks like Pycat. Oh, TP now in Thunder S4's face. There was backup inbound. I think had they known he was there, they could have gone, but it's actually top lane where they're looking to jump in here as well. Pycat on the prowl. There's a TP scroll ready, and Timbersaw is going to use it. Koikfa, no duel. It just cooled down. Oh, close. Well, mid, back to that lane. Same thing. Being pursued out the silence. He can't get off the initiating stun. Big Daddy going to fall to a timely EGM stun. Secret just getting outgunned at the point of attack by, by Team Tinker thus far. They have five heroes active, and Secret, honestly, it feels like they have three. Medusa's just farming. Timbersaw's mostly just farming. It's only Razor, Ogre, and Enigma that are actually trying to fight. And they're all falling behind after their decent early game start. Kiro's CS is ridiculous, but he can only carry so hard. How good of a Medusa game do you think it is? Not that great, because he doesn't really have that great of support around him, I'd say. Like, Razor really offers nothing to compliment him, neither does Timber, aside from being a front line, but Radiant they don't have the items necessary to be a front line. Ogre has Bloodlust, but he's underleveled and also falling behind an Enigma with no mech uh, to his name, no Blink Dagger coming online anytime soon, or a BKB. He's also going to be a liability, so instead of his team supporting him, they're just going to mostly just die to, to, the, to the AoE, or Mystic Flare. They also have a lot of damage amp, I guess, between the Soul Burn and the Skyrath Silence, so... Yeah, Deuce is tanky, but not as tanky as if, like, you don't have those things. That's for damage. So maybe they have the burst to bring him down. See if the, the lack of defensive supports is punished. They really need, a, like, a BKB on Razor. That's the next uh, big item for Team Secret. They are going back for a mech on Puppy, but it's a pretty damn late mech for an Enigma. 
He's been very active compared to most Enigmas. Pushed a lot early, smoked a lot, was trying to create space for his team. Oh, Simba. Oh, that's trouble. Reactive Armor not going to save you now. Pycat knows he's dead, and he just goes back for the tower. He's going to get this as well. Can he win walk out to safety? Tries to TP. That's not going to happen. He's got the mana, though. Just barely able to get and walk away. Is there detection inbound? The sentry was dropped by Big Daddy, but Pycat's always just one step ahead of them. And in fact, Tinker seemed to be just one step ahead in general. As they used the dual bottom lane, they used to combine to call the Medusa. And he's three ultimates. Did they get the dual down? They did. Bonus 20 damage now, starting to stack up. Yeah. Is Deuce is tanky, but with Skyrath ultimate and Ancient Seal and Epicenter and Duel, she will fall. Especially going with the no HP uh, agility trends in Yasha build. Everything suddenly going really well for Team Tinker. Farm on all their cores, farm on all their supports. Well, outside of Bulba, but he's just got his null talisman picked up. Talent they're holding fallen. their towers for now. Tier 1 mid, still healthy. Koi may look for a jump in. Koikva has been much more Dyer's useful than Fly. Fly's been trying to like recover in just farming the lane, whereas Koikva has been trying to recover by getting kills and dual damage, and he's been much more effective. Yes, part, his, part of that's, I think, due to the heroes and the, the teammates, yeah. Yeah. I agree, but, I mean, is a, a fighter too, not a farmer. Yeah, unfortunately he just, he hasn't had enough of a start to, to be able to take those fights. So the spot up Big Daddy in the river, he lumbers towards him, but Ogre lurches backwards. Not gonna make the jump in. Quickfoot's gonna go heal, but he's not. Suddenly he's got some real items. Treads picked up, 1100 gold in the bank if he wants to work towards that. Blade mail or BKB. Pick up the first component. For now it's a magic wand. Mech is online, though. At long last for Secret. 18 minutes in. Again? Come on. Gonna use the, uh... Sorry, the Sandstorm to try and dodge the, the silence there. The slow there, but... Meanwhile, Sing Sing goes in mid lane, gets the two hero piece. He has the back just a few inches. That's enough to bring down two. Timber sold down. So too is your Razor. Now they stone gaze, but Tinker just turn tail and run. They get the multicast on EGM. Desperately needed roll of the dice there to at least secure one kill. They'll have a duel online. This is gonna dis are they going to try to push? With no stone gaze, all they really have to back this up is Black Hole and Mech. That was that would a, be dangerous. a really nice bait by Saiyan King. Saiyan King, he just sandstormed in front of the tower, ran away, they baited the dust out, and then they clumped because they thought that he might still be there. And then that led to the RP from Sing Sing into a nice skewer plus burrow strike. Blinks is ready. Pycat now has it. There's no BKBs in sight on Secret, so anyone who wants to silence, he will. And there's your Blink Duel combination. More damage for Koikva. Now up to 30 damage added to his total. The lose Simba on the chain out. He can't even get close. Big Daddy might well be next. The Burrow Strike comes for EGM with the triple Burrow. They secure the one kill there, and now he tries to retreat, but he may end up paying for this. They may actually turn this one a bit. S4 trying to steal damage. In the end, uh... Still a win there for Tinker, only losing supports, taking down a core Timber, who's, I mean, is it fair to say he's becoming irrelevant? He's got 3.3k net worth, his own Enigma's out farming, and the enemy Sand King's out farming him. Becoming? Yeah, well, it's one thing if you're supposed to start in the lane, right? <laughs> I was, yeah. It's another if you're not catching up. He's been. Yeah, been and continues they've, to be. They've just been doing a really good job of coordinating with the duel, too. And they're not overkilling, uh, which is really important because that means that they can have other heroes around the map doing elsewhere, but they're also not underkilling and not letting Deuce get away with like a stone gaze plus magic stick and a mech to survive with. So Team 2 are doing a very good job of, of uh, correctly estimating their damage for something that's usually fairly difficult for someone like a Dusa, especially with the recent change. As far as going to TP out, Pycat won't even show himself, but mid lane, they have gone in on Sing Sing. They got the multicast. Damn, that's a Scotty already on Kuro? They don't have the follow up. He's managed to stay ahead of this Clinks, despite the Clinks being 7 and 1 and Kuro being 2 2 and 2. He's 50 CS up tower wise, they are even. Well, I think Kuro might have gotten an extra tower last hit on him. I'm not sure about that, but. Yeah, he's, he's definitely kept his farm up. It's still a close game. Net worth. Very even. They're looking to go in now. That clink silence doing work to Puppy, but not quite enough. They'll use an epicenter as well. All of that commitment just to kill him off. While Sing Sing RPs for Kuroki, he chases in. He'll chunk down Sing Sing. He's still very healthy in the river. The dance continues. They'll bring down the Sand Cane finally. Getting a, a more even trade here. And that was without a black hole. S4 wasn't even really that involved in the fight. Only now joining it. Bulb and Koi for retreat out. Start to push in. 
RP was expended, but it was not, like Sing Sing just had to run immediately. Kuroki just hits too hard. They're still going to try to burst somebody down. Who do they focus? The duel's on S4, but Pai gets a little bit slow into this, and he ends up going for the Timber Saw, so they give extra damage to the Razor, feeding 14 away. Now Pai Cat's going to end up feeding, oh no, four heroes dead in a matter of moments. Not the best execution from Tinker. They were very polished until now, but just slight misplays, and now you fed Kuroki. He's up to 12k net worth. The graphs tip back above equilibrium in favor of them, and even EGM's jumping in. You've got to be careful. They had no follow-up with the Magnus ultimate. He had... Big skewer, perhaps, for Sing Sing. Burrow Strike under tower. They need a lot more than this, though. This Dusa is going to turn around and kill off Sing Sing and starts to dive EGM. I think Tanker are just not respecting how tanky the Dusa is. Dusa OP? Yeah. With Bloodless and Dusa Scotty. left to free farm for 20 minutes. Pretty hard to deal well, with. Well, generally, she's only relevant past 30, so making her this relevant at 20 is actually quite surprising. Or maybe Kuro OP. He seems to find this farm almost every game. Yeah, Bloodlust plus Scotty plus Yasha. I mean, he does a lot of damage. And I thought that they would have trouble um, have trouble tanking all of Team Tinker's damage, but not not Kuro. And they are at, they are getting farm on S4, which to me is pretty important because if your Medusa does end up dying and you have too much net worth concentrated, they really have nothing. My cat's gonna run up the hill. He walks into higher radiance squad. They're about to smoke. He's gonna blink out. I think nervous there could be a sentry ward or or a dust pop, but there's actually no detection. Love to see that gem soon. It's, it's really been Pycat who's. It's so the risky though, except That's for true. Dusa. Dusa's really the only one that can carry it safely. Ah. Razor probably could. He's about to get a BKB. Oh yeah, once he gets the BKB, yes. Crystalis now out for Kuroki as well. Going for straight damage now. That's the eye of Scotty to tank. Still getting through the Roche pit. Well, Wait, pit. has this heal cooling down soon? Press the attack now, maxed out. They will try to take the Roche and empower Clinks. Does decent damage here. He's picked up a Chrysalis of his own, but he's just so much squishier than the Medusa. Even with the Dark Pact, he, the Death Pact, I mean, then he's even, then he only sits like mid 1500-ish HP, and that's without the Spell Shield, without any sort of magic immunity. He does a lot more single target damage, though. This oh, huge melt. He needs to. Everyone's tanky. That's the one issue for a Clinks this game. You're, like, you'd love to just farm those squishy supports. I guess the Nick was the easiest kill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ogre's relatively easy, too. Actually, Timber Saw is pretty squishy, but I feel like those aren't the important heroes. You know? Puppy's probably the, the tougher kill than this Timber. Silence so, use them, Puppy. After the first yard, blinking forward is Pika. They tried to cancel the blink. Not able to do so, and he'll end up dropping. Might lose Simba as well. They will. Double kill given away to Pycat. That Clink's creating space for his team. Well, he can burst down those two, that's for damn sure. Not Maybe not the Razor or the Medusa. I mean, he's just very far ahead of the curve right now, 10 and 2 with the, with the Crystalis. And yeah, Kuroki's ridiculously far ahead, but that doesn't mean that Pycat's underfarmed. Kuroki's just fat. They they do group up bottom Radiance now. Trying to use this opening to push in the mid lane with the Magnus, and but rotate in Pycat as well. Team Tinker, nine, leading 19 to 10, but it feels a bit closer than that. They will try for a, a double tower, double tower take here. Mid lane, dropping quickly. Bottom lane, BKB was used by S4. Goes right on to Clinks, but tries for the TP out. Don't think he'll make it in time. He won't get the kill. Now they retreat out. Bulba able to TP away. So BKB used, but they get the kill on the Legion. And while that was happening, the mid tower goes down. Pycat did get the last hit. So overall, still good for Tinker, even though they did give up that kill. And Dusa going for damage, too. Yeah, Daedalus. She's tanky enough? She is tanky enough. Generally, people go for Butterfly, though, I would say, over Daedalus. You can't crit on the split shots, I don't right? Believe, Only on the main one? I don't believe so. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can. So generally, people just go for mass attack speed and damage rather than any sort of uh, special effect like crit or Maelstrom. Yeah, Maelstrom could be nice. Although, I guess later on, it doesn't really stack that well. Instead of making all the arrows stronger, you just have this kind of piddling chain, chain lightning. What's on the ground here? Oh, just the Orb of Venom. Radiance um, the Courier sniped as well. A one-shot, an instant blink out. Pycat really heating up this game. He's killed the Courier. He found a double kill top lane. He's taken towers down. He is the biggest source of pressure and frustration for Secret, who kind of playing stick-together Dota at this point. They don't feel safe to spread the map.
Well, except for Kuroki. Yeah, and they could get ghosts at this point, but it's just not effective in team fights at all. So, the itemization is difficult for Team uh, Secret too. What do you do if you're Secret here? Do you just keep on farming Kuroki and go for ultra late game? Do you feel any pressure to make something happen? Uh, well, firstly, you wait out the ages. Uh, secondly, yeah, just pretty much wait for a huge bloodlusted Medusa. Because they don't have any mana burners. It's... Poikfo, he was being pursued by Flywild, while at the same time Sing Sing stunned out by No-Tail, but everyone escaped safely. Now Pycat charging up the hill. Got a Dark Pack, or sorry, I keep on calling it Dark Pack, a Death Pack cooling down. I guess we just cast the Slark game, so... I'll use that as my excuse. But they do spot Pycat here with a nicely placed sentry. Okay, just in vision of that location. We'll back off. But it's just these little maneuvers that even when he doesn't find a kill, you see everyone just runs away in terror. Now they group, they smoke, they're gonna try to just back up Kuroki. And there's nobody going on him. Dead Koikfa. Blade Mail has been complete and now works towards his BKB. To the top lane goes Sing Sing, rushing for well, not rushing, but going for the Refresher now that he's completed the Force Staff. That's a Daedalus fully online for Pycat. The better to give the Legion Commander some wand duels. Although it already seems like this Legion is not going to have the same impact as oh, the previous sing, game. Sing. Force Staff ready. Blink dagger ready. Blinks out just in the nick of time. Now no tell revealed by EGM and he'll blink out. This Observer Ward spots it all out. They may just look to make a move elsewhere on the map. Pycat heading in for the backstab. Do they have detection? Yeah, they do have sentries. Where does he go? Does he try to push him mid? Find out, but... They dodged that. What could have been a pretty disastrous fight. Still, they will be able to capitalize and get a T2 out of this. They're not even close to a position to uh, defend that, and his age is right about to expire on Clinks. S4 will go for an Assault Kuras. Not going for the... Not going for the eggs that we've sometimes seen. There's one player that's been going for Shiva as well lately. I'm trying to remember who it is. I think it was one of the Chinese players. AC is super. AC's real good here. Sure. Also buffs up the Dusa. They're gonna win off Dusa da doing damage, not really the Razor. Blakefoot. Jesus, look at how hard Kuroki is. Attack. He's almost Radiant's able to bring him down solo. In fact, I think he will solo attack. kill him. Can Pycat turn this one around? Blade Mail used, S4 streaming, and they're waiting for a good RP opening. They keep Quake for alive. They force Stefan back to safety. BKB used by S4. Pycat blinking out before that auto attack can leash him. All retreat. Still, Medusa just... That was ridiculous how much damage. And she's not meant as single target damage either. This is an AoE damage carry. <laughs> Imagine how much she'll be doing to the rest of the team in the fights. Can they out-carry her? That's becoming the question. She's... Kurogi starts to pull ahead and farm. What do you think, Ben? I don't know. It's still a matter of execution at this point. They still have, like, huge AoE chain stuns on Team Tinker, so pulling that off will make uh, Kiroki irrelevant if the rest of his team dies. And at the, on the flip side, Enigma, if he hits a Black Hole, or even just like simple multicast from Ogre Magi on a crucial hero like Magnus, could easily swing either way. Yeah, in general it does, it, but it's interesting because you look at Secret, they've got the better like team fight carry compared to the Clinks, uh, and I guess to some extent the Legion, but they also have the Sand King Magnus, so they look good in the team fights. Secret with the better team fight carry and the Enigma Razor. I mean, hell, their whole team is basically AoE. They look strong there. Seems like both teams could win team fights. Both teams could win single target engagements. But a lot of it, as as mentioned, comes down to execution. Do they get off a good black hole? There's no BKB in sight for Puppy. Not even sure if he's going to bother going for one. Black hole is kind of iffy. Well, no blink dagger either. He's gonna have a tough time getting that off. Medusa's so fat though. With Bloodlust, it's like a free butterfly or AC in terms of attack speed. So she can actually go for damage uh, without it hitting her attack speed too much. So, on top of that, you have to consider the Eye of Scotty. Eye of Scotty on a heavy damage zero like Clinks will actually reduce his damage output by a significant amount. Maybe they need to get like a Heaven's Halberd or something for him. I guess Kroki can always go back for BKB. Ogre Club up for now in Koikfa. See which one he wants, but give the attack speed to Pycat. Are they actually... Are they high grounding? Yeah, they have to go back. They're gonna take the tower bottom though. That goes to the Pycat. It does put Strafe on cooldown for 20. And Kroki just lays into the tier 3 top lane. Secret, getting aggressive, they force death. The 
somewhat initiate, I suppose, but he decides to just walk away. We'll clear out the creep wave and keep on going. S4 with the completed AC. These cores in the front line are very strong. I mean, everyone else behind them is starting to trail off, but who do you go on here? Hiroki, S4, or nobody? Smoke wrap around. Gotta go on somebody. Yeah, I'm looking for the opening. Meanwhile, bottom lane still pushing in his Pycat. He really wants to draw them back. Sing Sing force staffing croaking again. Trying to make him retreat. As Pycat will clean out a range rex bottom lane. So the first rex goes the way of Tinker. And now he will make his retreat. This means no Enigma top lane. Burrow comes through. That only hits on fly though. Not the most important target. Now they duel. They focus Kuroki. But a split shot does a lot of work. Quake, but even with the blade mail, they still can't bring the friggin' Medusa down. This Gorgon's too fat. S4 wasn't even scratched and he cleans house. Triple kill for him. And a lane, a full lane of racks, a melee racks, and a range. I guess we have our answer. Without an Enigma, they still win the team fight. Medusa, too big. Wow. I mean, Medusa. I didn't expect it to go quite that far. Got focused by everything. And Duel doesn't do anything for her, because she's just going to be sitting in the same place attacking, anyways. And, and I, I guess it doesn't disable her split shot, so she's sitting there split shotting your entire team. It looked like she was hitting all of them. She was. Yeah, that was. That was brutal. It's <laughs> probably what Kroki wanted to do anyway, more or less. I mean, he likes to cut you a little bit. Secret go for a second lane of Rex. Sinker, such a good start. But can they hold from here? It's an Epi that comes in from medium. They'll force staff Kroki in a bit deeper. And this time he will go down. They lose their Sand King in the process, though. And the Range Rex will fall. They need a lot of cleanup here. S4 to drop. That's two cores down. A big win for Tinker, but an even bigger loss. That's a triple for Pycat. They do hold the line, but it forced out his buyback to make it happen. He's got B he's got BKB gold, and Roshan is respawning soon as Eidolons continue to slowly plink away at your melee racks. Gonna secure it. They also managed to complete a refresher. Inker on the ropes, but not out of the ring just yet. They need like a melee hero with bash, I think, to deal with the Dusa or I guess. I mean, you're not getting a bash on Magnus. Yeah, it's just not ideal. Um, what other things are good at continuously locking down a Medusa? I suppose Refresher Magnus is a pretty good uh, thing, but it's not really continuous. Maybe like a Heaven's Halberd, as you mentioned before. There aren't that many options to deal with the Medusa. Maybe an AC on one of their teammates, or a Vlad's, or both, uh, to give everyone some armor. That would actually be pretty effective too. Um, but they are just not well equipped to, to handle Kuro's damage output. Yeah, and I mean, you'd think they have, if, like, Clink's is about as good as it's going to get for single target damage. Especially with the Searing Arrows when he's death pack to the creep and has empower. It doesn't get too much better than that. He's hitting for 300, what, 60, 70 in auto attack? Apparently you just need straight mana burners then. Or uh, bashers. Yeah, anti-mage was banned for the last ban. Smart from Secret. We've seen teams crush Medusa picks in the past few weeks with... Anti-Mage, I have seen limited success with Necro books, but they didn't really have the right heroes to build those. Nyx is pretty good. Yeah, too. maybe need, maybe teams do need to prioritize Nyx. <laughs> it's been picked twice today. First game wasn't the most effective, but second game was. So Clings with the DD will buy them a little bit of lifeline, but can they hold this next one? It really will be on, I think, Sing Sing to hit big RPs. He needs to catch probably three people, including one of the important ones, Razor or Dusa. Sounds nice, <laughs> if you can make it happen. Oh, and Voker's also really good, too. Voker with Cold Snap. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's and true. And EMP. There are other solutions. EMP, yeah, we saw the EMP the other day, that's right. I think Rex does it. Yeah, especially like in the early game, which is when you would ideally like to be fighting Medusa. Fighting, you know, taking her down before she gets the, the two, three big items. But now she becomes hard to deal with. They'll try. They'll certainly try. S4. The smoke in from Tinker. They have a duel ready to go. He's certainly a more killable target than this. And the Medusa. And they'll RP to start. Skewer S4 back. But that's out of dual range. Oh, it doesn't matter. Black hole. Oh, maybe it does matter. Five heroes caught in it by Puppy, but they had no split shot during this time. What looked like a perfect black hole might not have been that great at all. Quake for now on the chase on the Puppy. Goes for the duel, gets the damage. He's a winner, but the real problem is not being addressed. And that's Kuroki. He brings down one. Now going onto the Clinks. We'll go for additional targets. Quake for dealt with. Three down for the side of Team Secret, but it's about to be three down for Tinker, unless this Burrow Strike can get them out of safety. Just using auto attack so the Pycat can't blink away. Now the Ghost Scepter used, he's gonna Ghost Walk and 
or a skeleton walk. Look to retreat out, won't happen. A triple kill back the other direction. But Tinker lost both carries, and Secret only lost one. Well, Kuroki wasn't even scratched. I doubted Kiro's ability to carry everything this game, but <laughs> there, there is no limit. Imagine if he had been auto tagging during that black hole. That would have been a <laughs> guaranteed team wipe. Still manages to turn the fight around. And the problem now is no buyback on the clinks. Down for 60 seconds. Kroki just toggling his mana shield, almost taunting Team Tinker here. As he confidently will take that second lane of ranks. No way they stop this. It's only a Skyrath Mage and a Sand King alive. No core of the fight. They close in. Secret close in on another victory. And. It's only their third game, but they're playing some of the biggest teams in the group. They took down Navi earlier, they took down Team Tinker. I forget who the first team was, but I think it was it Alliance? No. Nah, they took I, down Cloud9. Cloud9, yeah. Three three teams that most would put in their top, what, five or six? For the the European division. That's putting Secret in good shape as long as they don't throw away any games that should be that they should be heavily favored in. To a hot start here in, in the summit too, that's for damn sure. Secret will go for what looks like a potential death push bottom lane. They are starting to group up. There's no black hole, though. Tinker may look to try to take a fight outside the base. They only have a single RP. They will have Epicenter. And they find that good opening. I don't Is think so. Is there an opening to be had? As long as Zeusa gets her stone gaze off, they really can't kill her. And even if they do uh, manage to go on her without stone gaze, as we saw on top, she probably, they're probably still not going to kill her. He has now a completed butterfly, four slotted with treads. He still has room to farm. That's the scary part. It's not like Kur Kuroki's six slotted and they're barely winning fights. He's four slotted, they're crushing fights, and he could still get bigger if he needs it. But the jump is prepared by Tinker. Fortunately, that Observer Ward. I believe they have an Observer Ward. It's going to spot them out now. Wait for trying to retreat out. Chakram will come through. Yeah, they've got one on the hill. I think teams are still not quite used to that hill being a wardable location. Seems like a few times now that it wards there have caught Dyer's someone by surprise. A push in bottom. S4 lashing away at the tower. Kuroki Dyer's chipping at it. And it will drop. Fallen. Last lane of racks now. Potentially in jeopardy. Dyer's Tinker dealing with creeps in the mid. Attack. Dealing with a beefy Gorgon in the bottom lane who's super sized. Razor getting excitable with his lightning slashes. Now uses a plasma kill. Wants to cancel those blink daggers so nobody can initiate. And the melee racks in jeopardy. They gotta go in right now. Even if they do, it's probably already too late. Pie Cat and Clip are hesitating. This will be mega creep. They get off their duel. Black Hole is there, but it's canceled quickly. Two supports down the drain. But no Deuce to dealt with. Who focuses on Pie Cat with support. Perfect RP from Sing Sing. He gets both cores, but he's also disabled by the Stone Gate, so he can't do a thing. He'll end up falling. And now it's a two for two core trade. It's Koikfa finally goes for the dual opening, but Epicenter even better from EGM. Well, except it doesn't really do anything to Kuroki. He's running low on a three shots Bulba. Now it turns on EGM. It's a triple for Kuroki. Will it be an ultra? No, maybe not. Maybe yes. He's close. Who cares? S4 is going for tier fours. He says we don't need kills. Pycat, no, no shadow kills. Well, he'll go down. It is an ultra kill. Secret unstoppable in the push. They'll take yet another win in the Summit, too. And that, it's just the way they're winning. Another disconnect pause right as the throne's about to die. Kiro makes Dusa look OP. He really does. I think it, part of it is just due to his ability to farm ridiculously fast and just make her time of relevancy five minutes earlier than normal players. And I thought they had enough damage to take her down. Need Necro I did too, man. I need mana burners, need uh, bashers. 